It's a milestone for rugby league in the country as the PNG RFL chairman Sandy Saka, Old Sets managing director Peter Bowden announced the Old Sets PNG Orchid women's rugby league team. Saka said it is history for women's rugby league in the country as they will line up against the Australian Jellarus for the first time in the women's Prime Minister's Stadium match. The announcement today is a new milestone. The girls today that are announced are the inaugural team. They will go down in history as the first Oil Sets PNG Orchids team. So for the girls themselves, it's, it's, it's a milestone and we encourage them. We've actually encouraged them over the last uh, week and a half in camp to embrace what the program is about, uh, to take the opportunity uh, to develop the team culture and the etiquette that will actually be part of the culture of the team uh, going forward. Having said that, uh, we are also encouraged because the event this weekend is not just about rugby league. While it is a celebration of the long cultural heritage and you know, relationship between the peoples and the governments of Australia and Papua New Guinea, the event this weekend will also commemorate a significant a social message uh, you know, with the partnership of Oil Search, which again is a passionate supporter not only of rugby league but uh, addressing social issues that affect our country. Oil Sets Managing Director Peter Bowden said it's a privilege to support the rugby league game in Papua New Guinea. Focus in the next few days is the first uh, and his historic first game uh, by the PN also PNG Orchids uh, with the Jillaroos, uh, and I uh, I want to sincerely uh, congratulate uh, PNG Rugby League, uh, led by Sandis and his team and Graham Osborne, to really drive the women's game in this country. There is one. To one game that unites Papua New Guinea, it's uh, rugby league. And uh, to be the leaders, to allow 50% uh, of the population to participate and be part of the, the rugby league spirit in this country. Bowden signed off the PNG Orchid team along with PNG RFL chairman Sandy Saka and was given the honour to announce the PNG Orchid team. I'm interested about this getting a loving up there, though. <laughs> Thanks. Well done, sir. That's very good. That's a bit of history. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Meanwhile, the PNG Orchid women's team match against the Jillaroos is now a sanctioned test match. It will be the lead-up to the Women's Rugby League World Cup in November 2017 in Sydney. Paul Tamik, Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Moresby.